Welcome to the Soul Train Express. Before we start, I have a quick message for you. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Number one, it's free. What? Yes, it is. Number two, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone. Yes. Number three, Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. So it can be heard on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And you can make money from your podcast. What? Yes, you can. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. All right, y'all. Now it's time to get some daily encouragement from the Soul Train Express. What's up, fam? Thank you for tuning in to the Soul Train Express. We are on the forgiveness track. We talked in the last two episodes about the myths of forgiveness and how to live a life unoffended. Now, let's focus on how to forgive because forgiving is hard. I went on my own personal journey of forgiveness and it was not easy, especially when the person believed they did no wrong. So there was no apology and they moved on very quickly. So I'm over here crying and angry when they're living their best life. I had to make a decision to focus on my healing and move forward. I wanted to live my best life too. And one of Satan's favorite weapons is having you believe that you are unable to forgive. Have you ever said you forgive them but the anger or the resentment is still there? There is a mental and spiritual battle within that is trying to keep you in bondage. Forgiveness does not say the offense is okay. It helps you be okay. Unforgiveness destroys us from within. So how do we forgive? We first have to acknowledge that Satan is real and that everything that ever happened to us that inflicted pain or torment was planned by Satan. Each person has a choice to receive or reject the scheme of the enemy or allow the Holy Spirit of God to work in us. And some of us receive pain because another person decided to choose the enemy's plan. Do you really hate the devil? Sounds kind of crazy, but if you think about it, unforgiveness is a scheme from the enemy. So when we refuse to forgive someone, which would bring us freedom, We are bowing down to the same demons that caused them problems. Our source of anger needs to be directed to the devil. He wants you in bondage and Jesus wants you free. So take some time to do some self-care. Think about who you need to forgive. Who hurt you? What event occurred that is now defining your life or changing your belief systems? Think about the event. I know it's painful, but be specific about what occurred. How did it make you feel? How did you respond? Be objective. I know this part is tough, but objectively recognizing the wounds is part of self-care because the wounds can then be healed. Don't run. Now you have to start off verbally saying that you forgive. Words are powerful. You may have to say, I choose to forgive this person constantly. Saying this will eventually align your feelings to match your words. Time is needed and support from others is needed as well. Do not isolate yourself. Stay connected with others. The last step is the hardest, but definitely will help with your healing journey. Pray and bless the people who offended you. I know that's hard. We want to talk trash about the person. We want them to suffer greatly, but prayer and blessing will change our hearts and theirs. It will bring peace and it will help the pain of the offense to go away. It was the hardest step for me, but it was worth it because I am healed. If I see them, I won't feel anger or pain, but joy that I'm healed and I'm free and they can't hurt me anymore. So now it's your turn. I placed a prayer in the description below that I hope will help you on your verbal process of forgiving. I encourage you to say this prayer if you have to say it daily, 
but take it seriously so you can grow and you can be changed. God wants you to be set free so our visions can start being stirred and desires can come to pass. He does not want anything to block our blessings as forgiveness can. God wants to shower you with his blessings. He wants to give you his heart's desires. He wants to give you your heart's desires. So always remember, forgiveness is not for them, it's for you.